ecology. Ecology is the study of the households of planet Earth. Now, not all the households look like this, and this week you're going to learn about the different kinds of households that exist on planet Earth, but let's use my dollhouse, I mean my, my, my display here, to describe the household that we're talking about. If you look inside this particular household, you'll see there is a representation of pilgrims and a turkey on the table. Well, these households change over time. Right now, this turkey is happy as the pilgrim family pet. But in a few days, this household is going to change. And this turkey won't have a smile on its face anymore, but the pilgrims are going to have a smile on their faces as they sit back from the table enjoying a full belly. So as we talk about ecology this week, the study of the households of the earth, we're going to discover how these households change over time. Many of the stories told by the rocks on Mount Tammany take place over a very long period of time. Some stories take place a little bit quicker, like this one here behind me. Look at this rock and see what's growing on it. Rocks are made up of minerals. Plants require those minerals from the rocks. But unless a rock is broken down, plants are generally unable to get the minerals they need. So something has to happen to make them available. Nature has the answer. The pioneers in this process are the lichens. They are actually two organisms in one. A fungus-like structure supports an algae-like plant that is able to begin the process of breaking down the minerals from the rocks. Here we can see how lichen attaches itself to the rock and grows very slowly to do its work. Over time, some lichen will die adding organic matter to the cracks and crevices of the rock. This helps water to not only gather in the spaces, but remain moist even after the rain has stopped. This type of environment becomes an ideal place for mosses to grow. These primitive plants continue the process of removing minerals from the rocks as they die, providing an even thicker layer of organic material mixing with the minerals. The next species making its way into this ever more inviting habitat is the fern. These two take advantage of the growing layers of organic matter and minerals as they die and decompose, start to really lay the groundwork for a maturing soil. As they do, the area becomes more attractive to other types of plants. Various types of grasses are now able to invade the young soil and take root. The continuing activity of erosion from water and the newer process of biological weathering take place. They open up the cracks to make way for even larger plants. Eventually small shrubs can grow, then finally trees of various kinds. One day, the rocks will be completely eroded and a mature forest will take stand in their place. This is indeed a dramatic and dynamic story told by these rocks and we can see all the chapters before us right now.